McDonald's water. Anyways. Okay. What's up guys? It's Abnormal Club. Today we're going to be doing an abandoned video. We're going to a malting place. I don't know. Basically they make malt out of like grains and wheat and they use that to make alcohol like beer and stuff. Whoa. So yeah, we're going to get like really freaking zooted off the maltings that are left behind. I'm being so cringe right now. <laughs> Abby cringe compilation? You sniff enough malt and you'll be like... Can one, of, can one of the amazing editors we have please make an Abby cringe compilation? There you go. I'll dab on camera for you as well. I'll make one if no one else does. Oh. But it's pretty massive. Uh, there's a lot of tags and stuff, but it's been cleaned up, I think, recently. So people thought of looking after the property. Uh, so there's CCTV, but... Womp womp. Oh well, we're gonna have a geezer, so. See you guys when we're in there. I'm gonna put on sunscreen. So is she, because we're redheads and we're gonna get very sunburnt. It's rough. It is rough. I'm probably already burning from being in the car. Yeah. I mean, these are tinted, right? Yeah, they are. Uh, this isn't. Oh, shit. This, these are. Oh. Jeremy's fine. <laughs> anyway, see you guys when we're in there. Woo! So that's the building we're going to go have a look at. It is massive. There is a fence all around it, but I'm sure we're going to find a way in. But it opened, I think, in 1899 or something. So it's very old, but yeah, everyone tags it up, as you can see, though. Hopefully there's no cameras like it says, and then ka -chow. All right, lads, we found a way in. Ah, oh, the grass is so long. There's a snake Yeah, snake season. That's what I was going to say. It's really sharp though, so you might want to be careful. Okay, we made it through. Oh, Imagine. I go in at that angle. Alright, you good boys? Oh, there's people watching us. Okay. Let Bruh. Let's go. No! He went back inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. He went back inside. Yeah, but we're right outside of his house, so the fucking car. Like there's no tomorrow. Do we have to run to the car? Is that a requirement? Uh, Cut it, unlock the fucking car. Oh, fuck. That's his house there. Yeah. Oh, I don't rip my fucking shirt. God damn it. God dang it, why was he on his porch? at this time of the day. All right, Garnet, we're back about how many hours later? Um, I think we were here about one o'clock. It's now 6.45. Yeah, so we're gonna try to get in again. We're going a different route this time. Hopefully it all works out, so. See you guys in there. So I'm using Garnet's other camera, the Canon. That's why, like, it might look a bit different in footage, but, oh my God, I'm so overexposed. Anyway, so we had gotten in and then I stand up and look and this guy, like one of the neighbours of the property, is staring directly at us. And I was like, okay, let's fucking leave. So now we've come back, we'll see what happens. Let's hope we don't get caught again. Thanks. Alright, so we're going to sophisticatedly go around this fucking pole. Very nice stuff. And we're on our way in. Um, um, it's just up there, but apparently there is security and CCTV. I don't know. We'll find that out, which I don't want to really find out, but... <sighs> yeah. So the sign there reads 24-7 security patrol on this site. No entry. CCTV in use. Keep out. Tr trespassers will be prosecuted. Literally everything and more that an urbex uh, wouldn't want. We don't want to go get fined. What's happening? Are we going to get arrested, guys? Yeah, probably. Probably? Booga booga. Got it. Booga oh, booga. Jeremy, what do you reckon? I think that you're going to get arrested because I'm actually going to run and tell you that there's um, Sam and Colby inside. But they're not here till next month. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. How did you do this? I'm going the wrong way. Can yeah. You? Even don't call under it. 
Jeremy, do a little dance. This is not an ooga booga moment. What's this one? So. <laughs> oh, god damn. Are we going um straight to uh, that? I don't know, I've never been oh, this I want to go in that one. That one looks really cool. You can see it's got no roof and it's got tree in there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be mint. Can we just go to the building without any like alarms, please? In tanks? Can we go to that one first and then this one? Yeah, if that's how it works. Because you can go inside. There's like a whole separate area that's got the alarm. But that was like the easy way. I hate when like abandoned places have heaps of signs. Like... Signs on, hey, you should come in here. So I'm not keen, but this place looks cool. Look at it. I mean, no one can go down that driveway unless they lock the gate here. Yeah. I feel like the floor goes up. What the hell? That thing over there is scaring me right now, bro. That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm so scared. There's gonna be a car and we're gonna get uh, arrested. Which is not on my books. Oh. You can climb. You can climb. Did you know that? Who? You know you can't get upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay, good. But you can climb. Climb what? What were the stairs? Where's the alarms, Jeremy? I feel like we're heading closer to them. The metal shed. Okay, let's go straight to we're the... We're going this one. As long as we don't go, the metal shed is like a separate thing. And to be fair, I never set the alarm off. Just lots of people said there was an alarm when you touched it. And it had like a tractor thing parked in it. Right. But that's when they cleared it all out, so maybe it was only for a little bit. The fact that, like, if if there's 24-7 security, why have they not fixed the fence? And, like, why is no one in here? I don't know. We do have to go down there to get across. Go down where? Yeah, to the bridge. Oh. What? You can't climb the stairs in this one. Why? <laughs> should I have a look myself? Yeah, you should. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's all gone. That sucks. It is huge in here. Oh, it's like a freaking puddle of water. Jesus Christ. Or oh, can we try and get to the main building? Yeah, and then leave. Yeah. Because it's going to get dark in maybe like an hour. Alright. There's like a nice cold breeze coming from in there. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, that goes under somewhere. That is so cold. Oh That's like an aircon bro. A little for real. Alright, so we have to go across that bridge, do we, to get to the main building or? And that also is apparently the alarmed building, which we would be really quick of it. What is in here? Damn. It's pretty strict. That's cool. What's in there? Oh, damn. That is sick. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, I really didn't want anyone getting up these stairs. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I got rid of the stairs for real. Let's power through, get to the main building, and then. Yeah. you and I was like that's coming from a different direction that could have been real bad they were in there somewhere oh yeah I don't know behind just, literally just behind a wall from us yeah I don't want that. no I want to walk around to just up there and see if I can see them down the side yeah we'll do that oh my god I don't even know if I was recording you can hear the voices but ah. <laughs> Yeah, they were like not like young. Are they? Are they down there? Are they like security or airboxes? 
but they're older guys. Okay. I didn't catch it on camera, but we're gonna get them. Let's go. So we're leaving now. There's two older guys in there with the drinks, beers probably, and they're walking out now, so. But we're gonna leave just because like, I don't know, we've got alcohol in an urbex, like, you never know. But. So we're just driving to go sus where they've sort of gone now, cause um, I don't know man. It's kind of a bummer if we can't get in, but this sun is so bright. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, well, so that conducts our sort of explore at the Maltings. Uh, twice, we didn't have good luck. So we've just decided to leave and go somewhere else. I don't know, but um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Sometimes urbexing doesn't go to plan, but that's just a lot the of the time urbexing does not go to plan. Yeah. <laughs> so like and subscribe. Ooh, yeah. I feel like half my makeup's come off today. I don't know. Mate, we've been at this for nearly 12 hours at this point. You realize that, right? Oh shit. That's right.